Hi, this is hey, y'all doing? Good to Chevy. Daytona 500 on the radio. We're back out in the garage. That's around a little bit here. Uh, just wanted to bring you a little bit of uh, an issue that we got with this radiator swap that we're doing, right? You can see uh, this the radiator that was on it, the, the whip over there. This is the new one. Um, this causes a couple different problems. This, uh, this radiator's got fittings on the back side, right, which was front, back. This is front, back. We have the fittings on the end of this radiator. And uh, the problem that we have now is because this one is so much fatter, it's actually moved more forward. We can't move it anymore backwards because it gets closer to this bumper here. I'll show you. As the uh, the radiator gets closer to the bumper here, uh, we got no room for the fittings, you know, the hoses to get to the fittings. So we have to b physically move the radiator out, which uh, which caused a problem. We have the return flange on the nose, as you can see, is about an inch and a half or so wide. And uh, that big square radiator is going to come way out here. So um, we have to get either get a little creative by turning the, literally turning the radiator around the other way. Uh, we'll have to put it, we have to use it this way and then run, run the hoses down out and back that way on, on the other side of the cart instead of this side here. And then, you know, find some way to weasel them around, which is really not that big a deal. Um, that'll get us back to, you know, uh, we may have to remove these things here, but get us back to the point where it was we can get it right real close to this bumper and uh, you can see if we, we center this thing up as best we can. Um, that's going to be real close. I'm, I'm zooming right in here real close to that flange on the nose cone coming through here. We might even have to clearance that, that flange a little bit. Now, so we can move back some more if we take these off, which would also give us some more clearance in that area there. So I know this is hard, hard to do with this camera and, and not having any help, but uh, that's the issue we're, we're running into now. Now we can either go ahead and put this thing on backwards, basically, right? Uh, with the fittings out front and weasel the hoses around. Um, I found that this little deal on the top to protect the fins and stuff came loose on the original one that's broke here. I don't know if this can is now leaking here or what, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to plug that thing up and pressure check it and find out where it's leaking from. And if it's just this a repair here and it's not in the core itself, we may just fix this here and put it back on. Uh, that way we can use the air box that we you know that we made for this one here it's going to save us a lot of time and a lot of hassle um with my luck are we going to get away with this probably not but uh you know we don't know until we try and that was the mistake we made the first time uh, doing all these changes knowing that we had a, a some sense of after mis of there being water on the on the foot tray and then not chasing it down i didn't brush or test this thing before we went out to the test uh, so, which also means we need to pressure test this one as well, just to be sure, because it's not brand new. Um, we'll go ahead and do that as well. So that's where we're at. I've spent a couple days messing around, made a, uh, a tray or a retainer um, for this big radiator. Um, we got all that, that skid proof stuff in there, right? And, uh, and just like we did with this one here, this retainer, instead of being one piece, was two pieces. But because that other one is so wide and so square, big and long, um, I didn't I didn't know you know how much width we were going to need onto this. So I just made one piece. Now we can always cut it in half and, and use less of it. Um, but I had the aluminum, so we we just made it. You know, we just did what we had to do. But uh, that's it. That's where we're at right now. I'm uh, in the process of of cleaning up these fittings. Um, usually when we go right into the aluminum, I use some kind of uh, epoxy on there just to make sure if they're, if they're not tightened up because of the taper of the pipe thread, because they need to be in a certain position, then I'll go ahead and glue them down. Um, if they're not tight, tight, the glue will actually keep them from, from leaking or, or help them to be sealed. So what we do is we take the, um, the, the pencil butane torch, we heat up the, uh, 
the the stuff here and, and then we'll knock it off with the razor blade we'll wire wheel the threads and everything and get it cleaned up and then we've already done this one and these pieces here just got this one here left to do but that's it just wanted to get with you i'm healthy i feel good the legs good i got my uh my uh yeah yeah that's right i got the old stretchy stocking thing on like an old folks right so it is what it is we do what we got to do the doc says follow the rules and there's a good chance uh lord willing that we'll be able to turn laps in april so uh that's that's the plan that is the plan up to this point hey to sean sean uh, down in indy he bought a cart from uh from the legend the great one greg Wright down there hey greg uh, sean how you guys doing uh, he bought a laydown cart, and he's he's contacted me through watching some of these old videos on on the YouTube channel. Uh, we're we're trying to get him to uh, get going, man, and get a motor on that thing and come see us in April. But uh, he's saying maybe June or July. But hey, you know uh, another guy in the area in a laydown cart talking the same language as the rest of us is what we need, right? So that's it. Um, that's all I got for you today. Five uh, hundreds on church later on tonight i hope y'all went to church today godspeed i'm praying for you folks uh winter's gonna be over any time now we're gonna have some 60 degree day here like tuesday 60 degrees in detroit all snow's gone man i was out there picking up dog poop all day today because <laughs> it was everywhere but uh, hey that's it that's all we got uh, god godspeed god bless like i said we're praying for you thinking about you um april's coming get your carts ready Come on out to the track. Let's hope we get a whole weekend of testing and stuff out there. It would be awesome. Unprecedented. Whole weekend of nothing but playing around testing and practicing. That's it. We'll talk to you all later. From live atop the side panel of the RPM race car. We'll talk to you later, folks.